Hi, this is the last in our series of traps on the Milner Barry. This is Blue Moon number six, in which we will examine Black's immediate Queen B8 retreat rather than her temporary stop off on D6. After E4, E6, D4, D5, French advance variation, C5, C3, Queen B6, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop D3, takes, takes, and Bishop D7. White castles and gambits the pawn on D4. After takes, knight takes, queen takes, knight C3, black gobbles up a second pawn. So rook E1, in previous videos we saw the queen retreating here to D6, but black can try queen B8. But this does allow another shot for white, knight takes on d5, since the pawn on e6 is pinned. Black to move. Well, if black were to try knight f6, that's pretty bad because that allows knight takes f6, g takes f6, and queen f3, and white is doing superbly well. So instead of knight f6, black tries bishop to d6. But now, queen g4, a thematic move in the Milner Barry. In fact, a thematic move in many other variations of the French. Now the queen on g4 is hitting g7, and the pawn on e6 is not only pinned against the rook on e1, but when it captures as well, the knight, eventually, the bishop on d7 is also going to be taken by the queen on g4. So after king f8, which is guarding g7, white can allow bishop d2, since, as I mentioned, if e now takes on d5, the knight on d5, that bishop on d7 can be captured by white. Knight f6 hitting the queen, and queen retreats to f5. Black might consider that he's a pawn up, so why not trade? Queen c8 is extremely logical, but this allows another tactical shot by white. Bishop f4, and allowing the queen to be captured, because after queen takes on f5, White has the intermezzo check. Bishop takes d6, and after the king moves, will we capture the queen? That's great for white. So we said after queen c8, bishop f4. Bishop takes on f4, and queen takes f4. Queen b8, again trying to trade queens, but now the queen switches to the other side. Queen b4, check. Pretty much forcing king g8 and allowing the invasion of the rook to the seventh. He'll be joined soon by his companion, the rook on a1. And without going too further into this line, white has a clear and significant advantage and will try and press it home for a win. So this has been the blue moon number six trap in the Milner Barry. Thank you for watching and hope you found it instructive and informative. Bye bye.